Welcome to the BYU Family History Library. This video is the second in a three video series about the 10 ScanPro 3000 microfilm scanners located in the library. The ScanPro scanners are at stations numbered from 49 to 59. All these scanners have fully functional software and can be used to scan individual microfilm images, automatically scan a full roll of microfilm, and scan microfiche. The first video covers scanning individual microfilm images. This video, the second in this series, will help you learn how to use the ScanPro Auto Scan function to scan a whole roll of microfilm images. The third video explains how to scan a microfiche. Many of the operations are the same for all three uses, but each of the three videos focuses on its particular use. If you wish to use all of these functions, please view all three videos. You can ask for additional help from the student staff at the help desk. Your first step will be to turn on the ScanPro unless it is already on. If you can see a small green light on the front of the machine, it is on. The switch is located at the bottom back of the machine. If you are going to save scanned images, you will need to insert a flash drive and have it ready when you save your scanned images. You may also save the images to the computer and then upload the images to your own online storage, such as Dropbox or Google Drive. Please be aware that the computers in the BYU Family History Library are reset each night, and anything you save directly on the computer will be lost. You should also be aware that scanning multiple images may require a considerable amount of storage capacity. Please check your flash drive and online storage before you leave to make sure your images have been stored. Next, log on to the BYU Family History Library portal. When the BYU Family History Library portal appears on your screen, double-click on the red PowerScan 3000 icon. If you get the following error message, the scanner is not turned on. When the program opens on your computer, you will see the Film Wizard window, where you are asked to click on the picture that matches the film that you intend to use. Choose the appropriate format of the microfilm roll or microfiche. For this demonstration, I will be using a 35 millimeter roll of microfilm, so I will click on the icon for the 35 millimeter roll. If you think you've made a mistake in the format you've selected, you can select the Film Selection Wizard at the top left-hand corner of the screen to go back. Slowly pull out the viewing surface as far as it will go to load the microfilm. Make certain that the glass panes are centered in the open area before you lift to avoid bumping the glass. Look at your spool of microfilm. You will see a notch in the center hole that fits the extension on the metal bar on the left-hand side of the machine. Mount the film roll by lining up that notch with the extension on the metal bar. The end of the film should be pointing to the right. Slide the film roll all the way on until it stops. When you begin to load the microfilm roll, a diagram showing the film path will appear on the screen of the computer. Below the film roll, you will see two plastic rollers attached to the lower glass pane. Pull the film down, wrap it under the leftmost roller, and then over the next roller before pulling the film across the glass pane. Pull the film across between the two glass panes. Feed the film into the opposite plastic rollers as shown on the diagram on the screen and up and over the empty roll on the right side of the scanner. Here is the diagram again for reference. 
You can pause this video to make sure you have the microfilm correctly loaded. Please ask the student staff at the help desk for help if you have any difficulty loading the microfilm. Slide the carrier back until it stops. Here is a close-up showing the microfilm loaded and centered over the bright light. You next need to move your film forward to the first image. The film controls are at the bottom of the screen. This is an image of the motorized film control bar. You will need to practice using the slider control to get a feel for the changes in speed it controls. Here are the six different controls on the control bar. Rewind. Double clicking this button rewinds the microfilm when the glass is open. Fast reverse. Clicking and holding this button rewinds the film when the glass is closed. Fast forward. Click and hold to move the film forward when the glass is closed. Slider. Click and hold and drag the slider to the left or right of center to move the film slowly. The further the slider is dragged from the center, the faster the film moves. Scan lock. This is used with the slider when the glass is closed. If the scan lock is off when the mouse button is released, the slider returns to the center and the film movement stops. Note that off is the recommended setting. If the scan lock is on, when the mouse button is released, the slider will not return to the center and the film movement will not stop. Auto frame checkbox. When checked, it causes the film to stop when a complete image is positioned within the display, when fast reverse or fast forward are used. You may wish to practice using the controls until you are familiar with advancing and rewinding the roll. You can move the image around on the screen by slowly pulling the view screen in and out. The view screen also moves from side to side. The green outline that appears on the screen image indicates that portion of the image that will be copied to your storage device or the computer. If the microfilm you are scanning has different sized images, you may wish to set the green outline to the largest of the images. The button icons on the left side of the screen control various functions of the scanning process. There are four tabs that help with specific functions. Please refer to the card at each station for a complete description of each button's function. As stated earlier in this video, the Film Selection Wizard button takes you back to the Film Selection page of the program. First are the Adjust Image Buttons. This list of buttons provides functions for making the microfilm images more readable. The ones you might use most are the Film Orientation button and the Auto Adjust button. The Zoom, Rotate 90 Degrees, and Manual Straighten buttons are useful for smaller incremental adjustments. The brightness, contrast, and focus buttons may also help in making the image more readable. The magnifier button is helpful when the text in the image is hard to read. The last button on the list, the previous next button, is self-explanatory. It is used to scroll through the microfilm images. The research buttons are a duplicate of some of the adjust film buttons. The only button that is different is the scan to merge clips button. This allows you to combine range and size scans to a single file, plus adding an annotation. The fourth tab is reserved for the setup of the program and is password protected and not open to library patrons. Remember that more detail about the operation of the ScanPro 3000 can be found on the cards located at each unit. The print scan buttons help you choose a location for storing your scans or print out what has been scanned. There are buttons for scanning a single image and for the optical character recognition or OCR function for some documents. 
There is also a button for using the auto scan feature. To begin an auto scan of the microfilm, advance to the first image of those you wish to scan. Before you capture multiple images, make sure needed adjustments to the first image you want to save from the Adjust Image tab. Also, make sure the entire first image is visible on your screen and that the green outline is set to the largest image you wish to scan. You can zoom in or out to adjust the size of the image, but the area scanned is defined by the green outline. For some images, the Scan Pro may skip images when the space between the images is poorly defined. You may need to review the images that you have scanned to make sure all the images have been scanned. You then click on the Print Scan tab and continue by clicking on the Auto Scan button. In the dialog box that appears, you can select the path to the device and file you wish to use for saving the scanned images. If you are saving your images to a flash drive, you should make sure you have enough storage capacity for the number of images you wish to scan. If you save the images to the computer and you want to use an online storage website, you will need to sign in to Google or Chrome to access your own browser. You can also select a file prefix and a file suffix number. The next box is important because it tells the ScanPro 3000 how many images to scan. If you select a large number, be prepared to wait for all the scans to finish. You can also select the file type of the exported scanned images. You can also click the boxes for Auto Straighten and Crop. Be careful of using this function if the images you are scanning vary in size. There is also an option to scan forward or in reverse from the selected image. You then click the Scan button and begin the scanning process. When you are finished with a roll of microfilm, use the buttons on the control bar to rewind the roll. Be sure to pull out the tray to open the viewing glass before rewinding. Again, please make sure that your images have been stored on your flash drive or in your own online storage. Remember that the computers are reset each night and no images stored directly on the computers will be saved. If you have any questions about finding images that may have been saved to the computer or saving your images either on a flash drive or online, please ask for help at the Student Help Desk. Return the microfilm roll to the reshelving desk. Thanks for watching.